Good morning. <laughs> um, it's just after 10 in the morning. I just woke up. My phone died last night, and so I plugged it in. Normally, my phone would go off to wake me up. I'm pretty... Did I set an alarm? Maybe I didn't. But either way. Should have. I don't know. I'll have to check on that. <laughs> but either way, it didn't go off. Um, so, I wake up. Turn on my phone. And, uh, I'm almost going to no frills. For those of you who aren't Canadian and don't know what no frills is, it's a, uh, lower-priced grocery store. So she was going this morning, so I shot her my list, and uh, I wake up to a couple messages. D -d -d Did you want two of the salads? Because you have to buy two to get the zero price. Ah, poop, I meant to delete that. I deleted the other salad, along with the message to say that I had to have two, so, you know, um... You know, substitute as needed. <sighs> yeah. Mom just didn't get it. So that worked out. Um, and then the other thing was uh, Superstore. The Great Canadian Superstore. Another grocery store. Same owner. So they're both law blah companies. Um, again, for those who don't know. And, uh, so they've got Robin Hood flour on sale. And yes, I get, pretty sure it's the 10 kilogram bag, but it's the largest bag you can get in Canada at a regular grocery store. I buy it that big because I told her last Sunday that when it comes on sale, please let me know because I'd like a bag. It went on sale four days later. <laughs> Ew. Um, so yeah, so when she goes to the superstore, she'll pick that up. Well, then I go on my morning poopy. And my phone rings at the dad. Oh, dad. He, he's the only person without random calls, um, especially unknown calls. That ever calls when I'm going for a bite. And of course, you don't just not pick up a phone call from your father. So I picked up the phone call. It's about Mom's Mother's Day gift. It's like, it's the book by so and so. I'm like, along the Rio Grande. <laughs> I think it's Tracy something rather. It literally just came out in March. Um, yeah. What an interesting morning thus far. His issue was when he went to pick it up is he doesn't know how to pronounce my last name properly. This is what happens when you get adopted into a family. An English family and your last name's French. He never has to pronounce my last name. He just go, oh, and this is my other daughter. This is Nina. That's it. He never says my last name. <laughs> oh, man. Poor dad. And yes, I've only been in this family for just over four years. I met them at church after I left my last relationship, like my actual, my last actual, actual relationship, not just seeing someone and then him trying to move in on me. Actual relationship. Yeah. Four years, he hasn't learned how to pronounce my last name. <laughs> it happens. But I gotta get ready because I didn't do my chores yesterday and I really want to get to that bathroom today. I have a big suit to make because I want to take some to mom and take some to my, my brother-in-law. Um, 
I want to get two Mother's Day cards done. Um, there was more on that list. Oh, make that, that, that laundry because I'm not going to have any pants to wear tomorrow. Yeah, I have a few things to do. So I'm going to make the bed, get dressed, throw some stuff into the tub, um, probably do some dishes. I'm not going to shower right now because once I'm done that bathroom, I'm going to want to shower anyways. Yeah, I'm going to have a lot to do. So let's get her done. Four days. Mon oh no, more than that. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh my gosh, I think I need to go back to bed. <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and today, which is Saturday. I have made this bed. Part of me can't believe that I'm actually doing that. No, it's not the best case, but I will figure something out. I'm actually in the middle of washing the other one to that. There's actually two pillows in that one, which means I could take one out, have two here, and then have my grateful, thankful, blessed Dollarama. And I will be getting more if they have more. Should have bought more. But it is what it is. Number two done. I got a load in the wash. Well, technically I got a load in the tub, but it's washing. See? There's the pillow, guys. Two pairs of pants, two shirts, two pairs of PJs, as well as the pillowcase. I am going to be so tired tomorrow, oh, later today. It's almost 20 after 2, which it's not that bad for me. Except that I have to be up at 6.30 so I can shower, get dressed, and be ready for church. And I also have to do a lot of editing. I haven't edited in a few days. That's a few videos. I'm going to get it on it before I end up with too much of a backlog. I'm finally home. I left about 8.30 this morning. It's 20 after 8 now. And no. That's not made. I forgave myself. It's Sunday. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. To me, a mom isn't just a mom who gave birth to a child. A mom, to me, is, yes, a mother who gave birth to a child, whether she has that child or not, whether that child survived the womb or not. It also includes adoptive mothers, mothers of surrogate babies, mothers of children who, for whatever other reason, have come into their home to be taken care of by someone who's not mum to most society. This also includes single fathers and grandparents who take care of children as primary caregivers in their lives. Happy Mother's Day. To you all. I just spent today with my mom. If you have lost your mom, my heart goes out to you. But I can tell you now, she wouldn't want you to be sad. She would want you to think about the happy times. And you can love her from here to there. That is something you can do. This is what I came home with. There's groceries in there. There's things I have to unpack in there. A Mother's Day gift in there. And Dollarama stuff. There will be a haul. It's 10 after 1 in the morning. I'm going to bed. Good night and God bless.